Today I'm going to show you how to get a custom domain name for your Raspberry Pi. First we're going to log in to our Raspberry Pi with SSH like we did last time. Now there's many different services you can use to get a custom domain name to access your website or other services you run on your Pi. Today we're going to use no IP. It's pretty easy to set up. They give you up to three free domains. So it's a really great service. Navigate to noip.com and click on sign up. All you need to enter is an email, your password, and your desired domain name. Check your email to confirm your account. Once you click on the button, your account will be active and you can go over and manage your DNS. You'll notice that the IP address is auto-filled with whatever IP you signed up for the account from. If you're signing up from your local network and you have a static IP, then you're all set. You don't need to do anything further. But if you're like most people and your IP address changes because your ISP manages it, then you'll need to set up your Pi to update that IP address with no IPs system so that you can always access your website or other services even if your ISP changes your IP address. To do that, we're gonna use their Linux dynamic update client. They have a great KB article showing you how to install it. I copied these five commands into a file on my Pi already and made it executable so that I could just run it as a script. I'll show you that all I did was paste those commands in to a file called ddns underscore install dot sh. I put the crunch bang bin bash at the top and then that way I could just run sudo dot slash the name of the shell file and it will execute those five commands automatically for me. Once you run the install script, it'll ask you to log in with the credentials you just created for your no IP account. You can select the interval it updates with. I just chose the default. And you could choose to run other commands after it updates, but we don't need to do anything else. And that's it. Now your domain's active. See if we go to diyslabs.ddns.net, we can see our website. And this will be visible not just on your local network, but from anywhere. If you have trouble viewing your website, then you'll want to go to your router configuration and make sure that you have port forwarding enabled for port 80. If you're using a uh, secure HTTP, then you'll want to also forward port 443.